Hey there, Bible Buddies. I've got another Bible review for you today. And this one is, it's kind of a mouthful. This is a Harper and Brothers Publishers Clear Black Type Pronouncing References Edition. Yeah, say that 10 times fast, right? Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, again, Harper Brothers Bible. Uh, Harper Harper used to be known, and you know, they still are. Harper Brothers is like, uh, Harper Publishers is like a, like a giant of Bible publishing. Um, and certainly some of their premium editions are very nice. Uh, even their entry-level stuff is pretty nice, to be honest. Um, and, you know, back then, uh, there was certainly no exception. Um, their stuff was just kind of like a step above, um, I would say maybe, maybe like a step above mid-tier. Like they were, they were really nice. These are nice Bibles. So if you guys happen to see like a, a Harper, right, or an Iron Spotted Wood, and I think for a while they kind of work together. If you guys happen to see those, uh, definitely pick them up. And certainly Harper Bibles tend to be a little bit like on the less expensive side. Um, this one was like too good of a deal. I had to snatch it up despite the fact that it has a name on it. Um, I don't know if I'll try and erase this. Eh, I don't know. I haven't been having much luck lately. They tend to just get real kind of messy. Um, so I might just leave it and let the, the next person <laughs> deal with it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, this is a, I don't know, what is it? It's a genuine Morocco cover. Uh, black, obviously, right? And look at this wonderful, look at that wonderful grain. Right now, is this a simulated grain? Um, I don't know, but I, I, you know, I might get, I don't know. It's got like some unique, you know, you see it's kind of like unique creases here. Um, but like the rest of the grain looks very uniform. So maybe a press grain. I'm not too sure. Sorry. It's still a lovely grain nonetheless. Uh, and it is fairly tactile. It's, it's a pretty deep grain. We do have uh, Glenn Colquitt. Thank you, Glenn Colquitt, for your contribution to the channel. I appreciate your Bible. Um, and we do have a little perimeter line going around the edge as well. Now on the spine, we have that perimeter line continuing, and then we have Holy Bible Concordance and Harper. And it is kind of like a, maybe like an antique kind of brass color. It's not quite like a vibrant gold that we're used to seeing. It's it's a little bit kind of an aged look. And I, I actually like this when um, when the manufacturers deviate from just gold. Like I love it when it's copper or if it's like a, like a pewter or any kind of like, you know, just something different than pure gold. Um, it looks it looks good to me. I like it. It's something different. Uh, there's also one, two, three, four, five kind of rib indications. I wouldn't call them much more than that. Um, I mean, they are like ever so slightly pressed, but they're not raised or anything like that. It's just kind of some rib indications on the back. There's nothing other than that excellent grain. Look at that. Oh, just wonderful grain. Love it. Uh, as far as the other features, we have a gilt, nice gilt edge there. Uh, we do have page indexing. I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, and then we have one black ribbon, and it is a single-sided black ribbon. Uh, on the narrow side and a little bit on the kind of thin flimsy side. Um, I'll give Harper a, a miss on that one. But ribbons ribbons seem to elude everybody. I mean, unless you're like Alan or Skylar. And to be honest, I prefer Alan Bibles ribbons better because Alan uses longer ribbons. And I'd rather have much longer, longer ribbon because if they start to fray, I can always trim it down, right? But if I start with a short ribbon, I have to trim it down. Eventually, it's going to get unusable. And it's just, it's a thing. Plus, I have like nice, long, luxurious ribbons. It's, it's a nice, right? Uh, as far as the headbands go, it is a kind of a white head and tail band there. Uh, that's really about it, right? Not much going on. <laughs> on the inside, we can see it is, it is edge-lined and it is stamped there with genuine Morocco and leather line. And you can definitely tell this is a leather because it has uh, some nice pores there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can I, I can certainly tell there's some texture and some pores there. Uh, but it is a very nice edge-lined edition there. You can see that nice tight corner work, very well done. And the page tab, uh, the tab there comes up under the book block. On the back, we have some more of that nice cover work, corner work. Goodness. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the indexing right quick before we get into it. I mean, I guess technically we'll be into it, but you know what I mean. So it has that kind of like split indexing that uh, Cambridge does where they put uh, kind of the, um, I wouldn't even say like the Old Testament because it's kind of a half and half. Yeah, and it starts in Psalms, right? So from Psalms uh, to the end of the Bible, it goes in this direction. And then on the opposite side, it goes kind of the opposite of the tabs. You can see how they're kind of cut there, opposite of one another. Uh, kind of a weird way of doing it. I've seen a mix. I've seen some that do it at Psalms. I've seen some that do it at Matthew. Um, I guess it just depends up to the manufacturer. And then there's a mix. I mean, they have some single books here where it's just Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. But then you see kind of down here, there's like Ruth and First and Second Samuel all in one. Uh, and then certainly, yeah, it seems like three seems to be the most uh, showed on one tab. Uh, you know, one, one per tab seems to be more uh, kind of easier to manage, uh, I would think. I'm not a big tabs guy, uh, so I'd prefer no tabs. But, eh, you know, take it as it is, I guess. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into the Bible now. You have your end sheet and then a couple blank thicker sheets there. And you have just a thin Bible sheet, blank page. And then we have our title page, the Holy Bible, Authorized King James Version. And then, yeah, you can see here it's produced by Iron Spot is, uh, Iron and Spottis Wood in London and then Harper Brothers in New York. Uh, and certainly these are quality Bibles. Um, I really do like them. If you guys, again, happen to see a Iron Spottis Wood or a um, 
Harper Brothers from this era. They are very nice, very well done. And we have our little stamp pack there on India paper, makes sense, and then clear black type pronouncing references printed in Great Britain. We have our epistle ded dedicatory opposite that, the table of signs used in this book, our table of contents, and then the first book of Moses called Genesis. So kind of let you guys take a look there. Very nice print. Really nicely done. Let's get a couple of pages in. And like I've been saying, uh, it kind of has all the standard King James fare. You have your book name and chapter numbers up in the top exterior corners in the gutter. You have your running headers. There's no running headers in the text. Uh, you do have Pilcrow markers indicating the new paragraphs there. And then you have a double line drop cap at the beginning of each chapter with your chapter indicator right above it. So very nicely done. Let's get to Psalms. And we know that there's not going to be any poetic settings. I have my tabs, right? Use your tabs. I know. <laughs> so there's no there's no poetic settings or layout or anything like that, but I'll go ahead and show you the paper. And again, this is India paper and it's very nicely done. Um, this India paper seems to have aged, I shouldn't say aged, like it's oxidized ever so slightly, but it's not like a gross kind of like gnarly yellow like some of them get. This almost looks kind of like a bone colored paper. So to me, it looks it looks really nice, to be honest, with a little bit of aging that it has. Um, it's a nice, it's picked up a nice bit, you know. So it just looks very nice. But uh, there you can kind of see a little bit of haziness kind of showing through, but certainly nothing crazy, especially considering it's Oxford paper. And we'll go ahead and get to the end, oh, not to the end, to the New Testament. There we go, I'll use the tabs. There, you happy? I use the tab. <laughs> Save me some time, maybe, because this paper's kind of thin. All right, so there we have the end of the prophets, and we do have a little uh, code down there. It says E L B R K E K. I have no idea what that means, but it's down there. Uh, then we have a couple blank sheets in the intertestamental period. <laughs> I feel like these are like yada yada yada. It's like eh, and then and such and so <laughs> other stuff happened. Then we have our New Testament uh, title page and the Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Well, I believe we'll turn a few pages in and we see six and seven. It's a black letter text, so no no bright and vibrant orange or pinks or anything like that. We'll get to the end of the Bible. You can see already there's some some neato helps and there's quite a section of them. So again, we have that same code down here at the end of Revelation. And then we have a blank page. Whoop. And we have helps to the study of the Holy Bible. You can see it's a pretty good size there, a pretty good chunk of material. So we have a table of contents here and I'll show you everything that there is and I'll just kind of flip through and wherever I land is where I land, I guess. There you go. So we have a, looks like a couple articles on the Bible. Some discussion on the Pentateuch, the historical books. So this needs to be some like basic descriptions of each book, so maybe some like short summaries. Of each book of the Bible. Maybe not short. They seem to be pretty in depth. Then we get into our concordance. Might have overshot it. There we go. Our concordance. I'll zoom in for you guys. There you go. And the concordance is fairly large. Um, I was hoping I'd have page numbers, I guess not. Nope, but it's a chunky concordance nonetheless. Then we have uh, HM stands for His Majesties, or Her Majesties, I guess, depending on who is the king or queen at the time. Uh, so, His or Her Majesties <laughs> printers, uh, Bible Atlas, and Index. So, you have the contents here of the Bible maps. And you have the actual Bible maps. And they are very colorful, yet very old school. Bible maps. Not too shabby. Not the worst I've seen. Not the best. Uh, and the paper is not India paper, so it's kind of oxidized a little bit more. It's a little more yellow, um, and it feels like more porous, um, which I would imagine would aid in the transfer of the color here when printing. And you have your index to the Bible Atlas. Pages of that. And that's it. That wraps up. You got a blank uh, thicker sheet there, and then you have your end sheet attached to the a second sheet there, and you have a little code down there. It's a uh, two four zero zero X, and then P one one six one. I'll I'll show it to you guys just in case you doubt me. I've been I've been stumbling a lot with my words, so at least there you go. You get some visual visual cue on it. All right, uh, yeah. So back liner, Bible's done. Let's get you some measurements, shall we? 
So this one comes in at a whopping, uh, just a hair over seven and a half inches tall. And like just a slight bit over five inches wide. And just over an inch, it's about an inch and what is that, like an inch and a sixteenth thick. So not terrible, good mid-sized Bible. Let's go and take a look at the fonts. We'll start with the uppercase. Juggling. Which one are we gonna do, guys? Which one? Which one shall we do? Which rabbit should I put on a hat first? Yeah, we'll go with eight. It's kind of in between eight and eight and a half, but eight and eight and a quarter inch. Eight and a quarter point. Come on. <laughs> are we splitting that? Are we splitting hairs that much now? Yes, I probably would. So eight and a quarter. We'll go with eight and a quarter point font versus Times New Roman for the uppercase. And then for the lowercase. We'll with the M here. Uh, oh, this looks pretty large actually. I love when they choose fonts like this that are, you know, the lowercase is larger because it can accommodate, they got the room. So this appears to be about a nine point. Actually, it's kind of in between, I hate to say it again, it's kind of in between an eight and a half and a nine point. So I'd say an 8.75 point font versus Times New Roman for the lowercase. So just ever so slightly smaller, you may as well call it a nine point font uh, for this uh, nice kind of mid-sized Bible by uh, Harper. So uh, definitely an excellent find. Uh, these, these really, you can find them all over the place. Um, you know, quality is always eh, quality in the sense that like how well people took care of them. I feel like a lot of times, um, Harper Bibles maybe got used a lot more. Uh, maybe it was like people in the know, right? They used them, uh, harder. So usually you can't find them in this good a condition. Usually they're, they're pretty worn and it's, it tends to be like all here. You can see even, you know, this one, I don't know if you can see it, but you know, the corner's kind of wearing there. So usually they're kind of split there and kind of banged up and beat up and the gilt's all torn. Um, but certainly for like a good, an expensive reader uh, with great paper. Uh, I can't. I can't recommend Harper and or and or Iron Spotted Wood uh, enough. Bible buddies. Until next time. Bye.